Today, we're going to talk about why counting sheep is not the best technique to help you fall asleep. Because counting is a form of thinking. Because anytime you start counting or thinking about sheep or thinking in general, you're going to activate the mind, and an activated mind is not going to help you sleep. People are thinking way too much. In fact, I think thinking is overrated, especially when you're trying to get to sleep. Solving problems activates stress, and then you might think of positive thoughts, and then you might get excited. That's going to keep you up. So thinking is the worst thing to do if you're trying to sleep. But sometimes it's hard just to turn it off. So I'm going to show you a really good technique that I use to help you stop thinking. But first, let's talk about some basics. I've done a lot of videos on sleep. So this is a quick review. So alcohol will definitely keep you up unless you drink a lot of it, in which case you're going to be unconscious and you'll wake up with a hangover. So this is not a good option for sleeping. Caffeine in coffee and tea. And there's a little bit in chocolate, but chocolate has a stimulant. Okay, so chocolate will keep you up and other caffeinated beverages, not to mention all the sodas that people are drinking. So if you do a bit too much, uh, and I'm talking about like more than one in the morning, you may find that that's the reason why you're not sleeping because it's not cycled out through the system. Your liver has not fully detoxified it yet and that's keeping you up. Stress, okay, this is a big one. I've done a lot of videos on this. I'm gonna put some links down below. But if the adrenals are overstressed or you have adrenal fatigue, it can activate um, a lot of thinking and solving problems. You'll be in the state where at night, like at two o'clock in the morning, you're totally awake and you're thinking excessively. And then during the day, you're, you're ready for a bed. Okay, right? So it's, everything is flipped. Now, I personally had a problem with sleeping. It was so bad. There were nights I did not even sleep one minute. I would lay there the whole night, counting sheep, counting backwards from 100, forwards to 100, I tried everything and it didn't work until I started to address my adrenals. I'm going to put some links down below. If you have that, there's a way to solve that problem. But stress is probably the number one thing. Okay, so then we have digestion. What you eat can definitely affect your ability to sleep, especially if you ate something you shouldn't be eating, that you feel bloated, that's going to keep you from sleeping. Um, I've done tons of videos on this. Okay, too much light in the room. So if you have the light on, um, before bed and you just try to go to bed. Light and darkness activate certain things through your retina that go into the pineal gland that will either stimulate or inhibit the sleep hormone called melatonin. So melatonin, which helps you sleep, is activated by darkness. So it's best that you turn the lights off and you start to wind down that way. The artificial lights during the day also do not help. So I like full spectrum lights around my desk all day, so I get that. Go outside, get some sun, get vitamin D. That also will help you with sleep greatly. Also, your cell phone right next to your bed or being on your cell phone or your computer way too much. The EMF, the light from the computer, can really mess up your sleep cycles. I've done lots of videos on that. I put the link down below. I've also did videos on sleep apnea, uh, getting enough oxygen. If you have that, you should watch that. I'm not going to get into that in this video because I did a whole video just on that one topic. Leg cramps, I put the link down below. But if you have leg cramps in the middle of the night, you need more magnesium, potassium, maybe sodium, or even calcium. I talk about that extensively, and that can be the reason why you're not sleeping. A really effective herb that I use in my sleep aid is called foti root, okay? It's uh, been used in China for a long, long time uh, as an anti-aging herb. Uh, he Shu Wu, uh, a very effective herb for a lot of things, for your adrenals, for sleep. There's several other key ingredients in my sleep uh, aid. If you're interested, I put a link down below, but four tea root is one of the key things in that formula. So you want to limit your caffeine, of course. Aerobic exercise is going to be very, very vital. The days that I don't exercise, I know the sleep is not as good. Vitamin D, this will help you sleep. Minimally 20,000 IUs of vitamin D3. Take K2 with it. Um, I'll put some data down below, but this really will help you get into the deeper sleep. Um, it'll help also if you have excessive amounts of uh, stress and cortisol. So if the adrenals aren't right, this can help you right here and then getting more sun. That would be ideally what you should do, but it's hard to get this during the winter. Okay, so vitamin B1 uh, will help you 
stop thinking so much. Uh, nutritional yeast, that's the best source, um, especially if you have this nervous tension and you're excessively thinking, 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 this can help you. Too much stress, too much sugar, too much alcohol um, will deplete B1. But B1 is really, really important in um, having a calm mind. Okay, magnesium, potassium, essential for calming down the nervous system, especially the muscles. So try to sleep if your muscles are all tight and you're stiff, it's not gonna work. Um, so you want a nice big salad during the day. It's interesting, the days that I don't have as much salad, I find that my muscles aren't fully relaxed like they should be. Okay, there's something called the autonomic nervous system. And that is a system that is working on automatic. Okay, there's two parts of this system. There's the sympathetic nervous system, which is the flight or fight mode. It's kind of like the stress part of the nervous system that activates things. You're being chased by a tiger, that system kicks in. Then you have the parasympathetic. This system is all about rest and digest. It's the system that is always active, pushing your heart rate down, helping you sleep. So it kind of, these two work opposing each other. If you have a sleep problem, most definitely you're gonna have a problem with this system right here. So the question is, how can you activate this system and inhibit this system? I mentioned all the things that you can do uh, nutrition-wise, exercise-wise, but this is a great technique that relates to a simple way of breathing. Now, when someone's stressed, their breathing is altered, okay? So they have a shorter exhalation. So they're breathing in, and their exhalation is always shorter, which is interesting. So there's not this balance. Now, the thing about the lungs, as far as in relationship to the autonomic nervous system, is that it's not just involuntary. It's not just an automatic. You can voluntarily stop breathing if you want. You can hold your breath. But if you forget about it, your breathing will just go on automatic and you will just start breathing normally. You don't have to think about it. That's called involuntary. But you have the ability to control your breath as well. So this is the technique. It's very, very simple. All you have to do is balance out the inhalation with the exhalation, okay? So you wanna slowly breathe in, okay? And you wanna slowly breathe out and you wanna make sure these are the same as far as the timing goes, okay? So let's just say I was gonna breathe in for four seconds. I would go, and then breathe out for four seconds. What's gonna happen is you're voluntarily stimulating the parasympathetic nervous system and you're turning this off to a certain degree. You don't have to get into counting. All you have to do is focus on your breathing in and out and make sure they're the same and try to slow them down. This is one of the most effective, quick things that you could do just to get you into sleep without having to think so much. So you wanna turn off the thinking, just focus on your breathing. It gives you something to do that's not activating the mind. So go ahead and try this and put your comments down below and let me know how it works. Hey, if you're liking this content, please subscribe now and I will actually keep you updated on future videos.